morning everybody welcome back to the channel today I've got another quick envelope an oldie but a goodie again and especially for you newbies all you need is book pages and once again labels lots of labels well not lots but you know I've got lots <laughs> right so let's get into this one I have just ripped out one two three pages from my book my textbook it's um the same one it's nice and it's nice and yellowed but it's not brittle and it's not thick because we want thinness in our journals don't we so here's one i've made earlier and you might see that it matches <laughs> i've got a matching set now matches the envelope and it matches and it matches the little flip out so I'm really happy with that little collection so I thought let's just do something very 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 easy so all we're going to do um, is just fold up to the depth we want that bottom pocket which I think I think there I think that's a good and I'm just going to Fold it there now because that's some um, three pages that's really good there but I'm just going to fold that over I think so that it gives me a nice sturdy edge because we'll be using this putting things in and out of it and I don't want anything to tear and I'm just going to quickly glue that down in place it's the neighbor's dog if you can hear him I don't know what he's barking at he's a cute little dog he only barks when there's people around too he's not one of those annoying annoying yappers that bark at nothing all day long I love dogs right so now we have a really nice little pocket with a nice sturdy edge that's really sturdy and then to make the top all you're going to do is fold it under at whatever angle that you think looks attractive by having three pieces of paper we can get two pockets which will be handy and then this will be the third you see this one's only got one pocket and I've left it was only two pieces of paper but this is three so I thought we'd have a little bit more now I'd never fold mine right to the corner but I guess that's preference I think it looks nicer close to but not I'll just brown that up I'll just give that a little bit of a now's a good time to use your um vintage photo before it's all put together it's usually, <laughs> it's usually the first thing that we forget to do isn't it put it all together and go oh that would have been so easier now would be a good time if you wanted to put a little hole there but I'm not and then I'm going to take the second piece behind hope I'm still in frame and then I'm going to not fold it down as deeply. I'm going to try and get it a nice angle all the way down. But it doesn't matter. It, the more rustic, the better. And go around that as well. Now I can do the same with the with the back one and have three pockets but I I'm, I'm not I really like that because that will go straight flat down on the page and um, it's it's more space for a little bit of a decoration the tag will cover that up anyway but yeah I personally I like that right and the same deal as before let's get some prettiness on this 
just that's really pretty okay I like that and maybe a label and maybe another label nice very nice how easy is that I mean really now for the bottom I've got this really pretty one okay so what I'm going to do is just take my ruler bring that down a little bit I think it's a bit wide take away the white edges oh that, that really looks fantastic just on its own actually without putting anything else now with this label I'm going to just take that down there which is good and then take that there Can go there or it can go across there I like the pink I like the pink coming up in that that's really cool but I could also ah see sometimes more is more I can pop that there oh and an address So many decisions. I do like things in threes. Uneven, uneven is always better. I think five or three. Actually, that could probably go behind. Nope, I think it'll be perfect. Right, so I'm going to glue all that in place. I'm going to stitch it in place while it's all undone so to speak and then we can just sew around the outside and voila I'll just show you the finished product I'll be back in a sec right and there we are back from the sewing machine and doesn't that look adorable took me two minutes if that all you have to do is find some old book pages labels or small images you can make them any size and have a stash and the thinner the paper you use the thinner the lighter in your journal because let's face it we, we want to put a lot of stuff in our journals don't we and I'm guilty of gated mouth <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this Thank you so much to, to all my subscribers. I love you all and look forward to the next time when we might move on from envelopes. We might. Hmm. Stay tuned. <laughs> Click that like and subscribe. I love you. Thank you. Bye. See ya.